In this second exercise, we will illustrate the basic handling on performing contingency analysis. Activate study case number two named contingency. Before we run any contingency calculation, let's perform a low flow and have a look at the settings. In particular to the settings in the basic data and active power sections. If the low flow needs to be performed with other settings, then the user can select here other options such as automatic adjustment of transformers or selecting other active power controls such as running it according to secondary control. Once we have a valid low flow solution, we can proceed with the contingency in our simulation. First, make sure that you have the correct toolbar selection. That is, it should be selected for contingency analysis. A group of buttons will appear related to this functionality. Before we run any contingency simulation, we must create a contingency definition, which is a list of the elements to be outage. Therefore, click on the contingency definition button. From this dialog, we will define n-1 cases for all the lines of the system. The contingencies in this step created will be generated in the fault cases folder inside of the library. We will press now on execute. The list of contingencies are now created inside the Power Factory model and now we can proceed with the analysis of contingencies. Click on the contingency analysis button so that the contingency analysis command dialog appears. Here we can select the calculation method and the limits for recording. It will be also necessary to select the contingencies to be simulated. For this simulation, we will run it as AC low flow calculation. We will define then the contingencies which were created in the previous step by clicking on the add cases groups. We go to the fall cases folder and if we require a group or all the contingencies, we can simply say control A so, so that all of them are selected and pressing OK. By doing so, the contingencies will be then loaded on the contingency analysis command. We can easily take a notice of this by taking a look at the information stated here below. We will press here execute so that the contingencies are performed. If you take a look at the output window, we will see then a summary of all the contingencies performed. The results of the contingency analysis can be then displayed by clicking on the Report Contingency Analysis Results button. From this dialog, we will have the possibility of selecting between a list of predefined reports, such as maximum loadings, loading violations, maximum or minimum voltage, etc. We can either select a group of them or take a look at the reports one by one. In the case of a maximum loading report, we will get indicated which component exceeds the loading limit specified. We will have there displayed additional information such as the continuous loading, the short-term loading, the loading on the base case, and the contingency name. It is also possible from this list to mark the corresponding elements in the graphic. We just simply need to select the element, right mouse button, marking graphic, and Power Factory then zooms in on the area. It is also possible from this list to execute the contingency. For that, we can select the contingency from the list, double click on it so that the contingency case dialog is opened and then execute the contingency itself. By executing the contingency, then Power Factory runs the low flow simulation. Here we notice as expected the corresponding element being overloaded. If we want to take a look at which contingency was performed, then we can return to the corresponding list and mark the contingency also in graphic.